that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my Elohim, in Him will I trust. I trust. You said you never leave me, oh. Take of the bread and wine, he will absolve me. Jesus Christ, the bread of life and the perfect sacrifice. Save me from this present life and the burning afterlife. Don't be feeding on the devil's pie, better reject the slice. Don't be mesmerized by wise lies from wise guys. Magic by the media, mad lies they're feeding you. Why you think they on your team? That's just when they start beating you. And defeated in this life means the fire will be heating you. In an eternal flame that burns like the tail of a meteor. You won't find the truth of the world on Wikipedia. I spit the truth through verbs in the booth so the devil stops leading you into deception. Believers worried about the election. Stop putting trust in man and stand on God's word for protection. Abide under Yah's wings. He's the king of the resurrection. The Lord of everything. Our only spiritual weapon. He's our right hand. He's our sling. God and man. Christ the king. Ruler over everything. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, it's time to shrink. Christ Mind. He's my strength, like mine, that my ship won't sink in Christ's mind, that's how we think It's go time, what could Satan bring? Showtime, he's on a puppet string A master's mind is controlling things Drink his wine from the living spring Came and died for every living thing Came and died for every living thing So that's why we praise and sing That's why we praise and sing In your presence is fullness In your presence is joy It's alright, it's okay Cause of y'all so thankful to be back again on the radio this is the day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it are you glad on the day that lord woke you up to see a new day are you glad that you are now still in the land of the living that way we know that we still have much work to do when we are still here we know that our journey is not over and there's still much work to do in the kingdom here on earth but this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. He, he, we can't go back and redo to yesterday. We can't redo on last week, but we can make today the best day of our life. Amen. And we can do that by loving a God that loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him 
amen, shall not perish, but may have everlasting life. You want to have everlasting life, amen, have a, have a turnaround in your life, amen. Trust and believe in, in God. Trust and believe in Yahweh. Trust and believe in Yahshua. Trust and believe in I am. Come on, somebody. I am that I am. Come on, the great I am. That is God. He's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. So this morning, we're so excited to be back here with our radio host, Minister Myron Whitaker. And let's go ahead on and give the man of God a hand clap. And you shall hear the next voice, Minister Myron Whitaker. Come on. Monday morning to you, whoever you are, wherever you're from. This is Minister Myron Whitaker, and I welcome you to the TMA radio broadcast of The Reading Room. The Reading Room doors are now open. Y'all come on in the room. Good Monday morning to you. Glad that you could be here with us to tune in and fellowship here in the TMA radio broadcast of The Reading Room. Every week, you know, I, I greet people from different nations before I begin my broadcast. So this Monday morning, we're going to say hello to our neighbors close by and one far away. Good Monday morning to you, Canada. What's going on? Buenos dias in Mexico. And what up, mate, in Australia, in the land down under. We thank you for your continued support of the TMA radio broadcast of The Reading Room. And every Monday, you know, I give a shout out, you know, to, to all the people who help us do the job that we do. And that's to spread the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus to Christ. I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer, and then we're going to begin this Monday morning's reading. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I come before you as humble as I know how. I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to once again declare your word. And now, Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless the words of my mouth, that I might rightly divide the word of truth according to your scripture. In so doing, let God be glorified and the ears of them that hear it be edified, strengthened up and nourished in the word of God drawing us all ever closer unto you so that you can create in us the godly people that you have called us to be. And now, Heavenly Father, where we have sinned against you, grieving your Holy Spirit, we beseech you, Father, in the name of Jesus, not to judge us according to our transgressions, but let your grace and mercy work its perfect will in us to your glory. We give thanks, Heavenly Father, for all that you've already done, what you're now doing, and what you have planned for our lives in the future. For the very breath in our lungs, we give thanks. We intercede, Heavenly Father, praying on behalf of those who are afflicted with the various diseases and ailments, from the COVID-19 to lymphoma to diabetes to cancer, whatever it is, Heavenly Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit would move in a mighty way and heal the afflicted. We pray for those who have lost loved ones during this time of this pandemic and through general illnesses, old age. We pray, Heavenly Father, that your Holy Spirit would comfort them and let not their grieving be over long. And we continue to pray, to pray for the world in which we live in. We pray for the healing of all nations. We pray that all who govern will do so wisely so that all nations may live in peace. And we reaffirm once again, Heavenly Father, as we live and breathe, that we shall remain steadfast in the spreading of the gospel of our Lord Jesus to Christ to be his faithful ambassadors to the world. Now unto the true and living God, Father of the crucified and risen Lord and the Holy Spirit, I give glory, 
honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us now open up the book and take a look at the book of Leviticus, the book of the Levites, the book of the priests. <laughs> Let's get some knowledge, y'all. We're going to come from the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, concerning holiness in personal conduct. Y'all might want to have your highlighters out, highlight those things of interest to you, or have your notepad, write down things that, that move your spirit. So we open up the book. And take a look at Leviticus chapter 19, dealing with holiness and personal conduct. And notice it says personal conduct. That means you and I, individually and all of us collectively. Our personal conduct, how are we supposed to act in this world? Amen. The Lord said to Moses, give the following instructions to the entire community of Israel. You must be holy because I, the Lord your God, am holy. Each of you must show great respect for your mother and father, and you must always observe my Sabbath days of rest. I am the Lord your God. Do not put your trust in idols or make metal images of gods for yourselves. I am the Lord your God. When you sacrifice a peace offering to the Lord, offer it properly so you'll be accepted by God. The sacrifice must be eaten on the same day you offer it or on the next day. Whatever is left over until the third day must be completely burned up. Now, this is Jewish tradition in biblical times. If any of the sacrifice is eaten on the third day, it will be contaminated, and I will not accept it. Anyone who eats it on the third day will be punished for defiling what is holy to the Lord and will be cut off from the community. Verse 9, when you harvest the crops of your land, do not harvest the grain along the edges of your fields. And do not pick up what the harvesters drop. It is the same with your grape crop. Do not strip every last bunch of grapes from the vines. And do not pick up the grapes that fall to the ground. Leave them for the poor and the foreigners living among you. I am the Lord your God. Do not steal. Do not deceive or cheat one another. Do not bring shame on the name of your God by using it to swear falsely. I am the Lord. Do not defraud or rob your neighbor. Do not make your hired workers wait until the next day to receive their pay. Do not insult the deaf or cause the blind to stumble. You must fear your God. I am the Lord. Do not twist justice in legal matters by favoring the poor or being partial to the rich and powerful. Always judge people fairly. Personal conduct, y'all. Do not spread slanderous gossip among the people. Do not, let me say it again, my friend, Listen, y'all, do not stand idly by when your neighbor's life is threatened. Let me back up the train and say it again. Do not stand idly by when your neighbor's life is threatened. I am the Lord. Do not nurse hatred in your heart for any of your relatives. Confront people directly so you will not be held guilty for their sin. Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against a fellow Israelite, but love your neighbor as yourself. 
I am the Lord. Verse 19, you must obey all my decrees. Do not make two different kinds of animals. Do not plant your field with two different kinds of seed. Do not wear clothing woven from two different kinds of thread. If a man has sex with a slave girl whose freedom has never been purchased, but who is committed to become another man's wife, guess what? <laughs> he must pay, pay full compensation to her master. This is biblical times, y'all. But since she is not a free woman, neither the man nor the woman will be put to death. The man, however, must bring a ram as a guilt offering and present it to the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle. The priest will then purify him before the Lord with the ram of the guilt offering and the man's sin will be forgiven. When you enter the land and plant fruit trees, leave the fruit unharvested for the first three years and consider it forbidden. Do not eat it. In the fourth year, the entire crop must be consecrated to the Lord as a celebration of praise. Finally, in the fifth year, you may eat the fruit. If you follow this pattern, your harvest will increase. I am the Lord your God. Do not eat meat that has not been drained of its blood. Do not practice fortune telling or witchcraft. Do not trim off the hair on your temples or trim your beards. That's for the Nazarites. Do not cut your bodies for the dead and do not mark your skin with tattoos. I am the Lord. Do not defile your daughter by making her a prostitute or the land will be filled with prostitution and wickedness. Keep my Sabbath days of rest and show reverence towards my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Do not defile yourself by turning to mediums or those who consult the spirits of the dead. I am the Lord your God. Stand up in the presence of the elderly and show respect for the aged. Amen. Fear your God. I am the Lord. Do not take advantage of foreigners who live among you in your land. Treat them like native born and love them as you love yourself. Remember that you were once foreigners living in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Do not use dishonest standards when measuring length, weight, or volume. Your scales and weights must be accurate. Your containers for measuring dry materials or liquids must be accurate. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. You must be careful to keep all my decrees and regulations by putting them in practice. I am the Lord your God. What is the message for us today? I know he's referring to, you know, the people of Israel doing biblical time, but the message still holds. The truth of the word still holds today. Honor your father and your mother. Do not put your trust in idols or make metal images of gods, that's with a little g, for yourself. All right. When you sacrifice, be sincere with your sacrifice and make sure that your sacrifice is clean without spot or stain. And when you make a sacrificial offering, right, do so immediately and prepare it properly. And nowadays, you know, we don't have to do that. Jesus Christ is our eternal sacrifice. He, he paid the price for us all.
He is the sacrificial lamb of God that wiped away all of our sins. So we don't have to do that no more. Okay? But whatever you decide to, when you fast, whatever you decide to sacrifice, do it sincerely with your whole heart. Okay? And again, it's when you harvest the crops, and in some places, uh, I lived in Southern California for a while, when they harvest the crops, uh, they leave some at the edge of the field, you know, for, for the poor people and for the migrant workers, because they don't, back then, they didn't get paid enough. And then whatever they did get paid, they had to, you know, pay for their electricity and all that kind of stuff. So they never really had enough money for food. So what they used to do, everything, you know, the three roads along the side of the road, that was for the migrant workers. Whatever they, they needed to make food, they could harvest it right there. And anything that was dropped on the ground was what they call gleaning the field. You know? So be generous to those, you know, that are less fortunate to you. So this, this is your personal conduct. All right? So that, so that God might smile upon you. All right? And when you harvest the grapes, it don't strip every last bunch of grapes from the vine. Let, let some fall to the ground. Leave them for the poor. And the foreigners living among you. Okay? And also remember, we, we have a lot of stuff going on today, you know, about migrants and illegals. Hey, hold it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Everybody here came from someplace else. You, you just ought to face it. Your great-grandparents were not born on this soil. All of us came from somewhere else before we came to the land we call the United States of America. You know, there, once you were an Ill, uh, illegal alien. Not everybody came over here recognized. Do not nurse, nurse hatred for members of your family. What does the scripture say? <laughs> How can you love a God that you can't see and you hate those whom you can, your own flesh and blood? Don't spread gossip. Okay? Don't be telling lies. Don't bear false witness. Keep the Sabbath days. Whatever day is your Sabbath. Whatever day is chosen to be your Sabbath. Keep it. That's the day of rest. And don't deal with soothsayers and mediums and those who claim to consult with the spirits of the dead. And we were taught this, it was verse 32, I love this because I still do it. And I'm 71 years old. Stand up in the presence of the elderly. I still do it. Show respect for the age. Be, don't be dishonest. And above all else, be careful to keep all of my decrees and regulations by putting them into practice. It doesn't matter if you read the Bible from cover to cover and believe every word written therein. If you don't put it into practice, it will be of no benefit to you. You can pray all you want. But if you don't get up off your knees and do some work after you pray, you won't receive the blessing. It just doesn't drop down from the sky. You got to do the work. Jesus did all the work. And when he had completed his assignment that his heavenly father sent him to this earth to do, as he died on the cross, he said, it is finished. Father, I have done all the work that you have required me to do. I have glorified you here on earth. <laughs> now glorify me in heaven. And he took his last breath and gave up the ghost. Okay. Be ye not only hearers of the word, but doers also. If you say you love the Lord, then you ought to love every human being walking on the face of God's earth. Whether they speak your language or a different one. And, and stand up. For those, right, who are being mistreated. 
Stand up. Say, this is wrong. This is not right. Don't stand idly by when you see your neighbor's life being threatened. That's from Leviticus chapter 19, verse 16b. Do not stand idly by when your neighbor's life is threatened. Stand up. Speak out. Don't only be hearers of the word, but doers also. Amen. And if you obey all his decrees and commandments, the Lord our God right, will bless you with his favor. Amen and amen. God bless the reading and the hearing of the word this evening on holiness in personal conduct. As the scripture says, you must conduct yourself in a manner that is holy because I, the Lord your God, am holy. And he created you in his, whole, in his own image. So if God is holy and you are his creation, which he created in his own image, if he is holy, then you must be holy also because the Lord your God created you and he is holy. Amen. We thank everyone for tuning in to the TMA radio broadcast this morning. This is your host, Minister Myron Whitaker. I broadcast on the TMA radio broadcast system every Monday morning at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10.30 Central Time, and I have no way of keeping up with all these time zones <laughs> all over the world. So govern yourselves accordingly. I know some of y'all are on that uh, GMT time, GMT plus 10, and so on and so forth. When I broadcast 11.30, a.m. on Monday morning here, it's already Tuesday morning, you know, in Australia. <laughs> so I don't even try to keep up with these time zones. So when you have occasion, tune in to us according to your time zone, okay? And as I get ready to depart from you this Monday morning, I'd like to thank Pastor Nino Ackridge and all the TMA radio broadcast members. Thank you, Pastor Nino, for giving me the opportunity to declare the Word of God on the TMA broadcast platform. God bless you and, and your lovely First Lady. Continue to doing what you're doing, my brother. God bless you in everything that you think, say, and do. And you know you can always call on me, man, when you need some help, okay? I'm here for you. Just holla. <laughs> With all that said and done, I'm going to say good Monday morning to each and every one. Y'all be sure to protect the temple. Wear your gloves. Wear your mask. It is very important that you wear your mask. Protect the temple. Okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 tells us, Do you not know that your body, your body, is the temple of the living God? His Holy Spirit lives within you. It is a gift from God. God is going to do this part. He's given you the gift of the Holy Spirit if you're a kingdom citizen. So protect your temple. Amen. Be sure to wear your mask. Sanitize your hands frequently throughout the day. And be sure to wear protective gloves. You never know what you might have to touch, especially those gas pump handles. Make sure that you have your gloves on before you get out the car. Do not handle those gas pump handles without gloves on, okay? You don't know who sneezed or coughed over that handle before you got there. So protect the temple. When you finish using your gas pump, you hang it up. Be sure to remove your gloves from the wrist up like a surgeon. Remove it from the wrist up and dispose of it in the trash receptacle. Do not take it back into your vehicle, touching your car doors, your steering wheel, your gear shift lever, dispose of it properly in the trash receptacle. And while you're driving on the streets and highways, please be courteous to other drivers. Do not drive distracted. And above all else, watch out for them loose nuts behind the wheel. And I pray to God 
that you won't be one of them. God bless you and God keep you. And as always in parting, God loves you and I do too. Peace. You have been listening to Minister Myron Whitaker on the Reading Room Radio Show. Amen. Well, you were blessed by the teaching on today. If you enjoyed this broadcast this morning, hit that share button and share to your social media page and invite somebody in. And again, we thank all our listeners across the world. We want to shout out again to those in Asia, in France, in Italy. We want to thank God for those, especially always tuning in in Africa. We want to thank those in America as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. We thank each and every one of you for tuning in. And if you missed this broadcast at the beginning, you can go back on the replay 24-7. To God be the glory. We thank him for everything that he's done and going to do in our life. We love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. So continue to let your light shine amongst men throughout the world. Hallelujah to God on high. Be blessed. And I love you. I love you. I love you. God bless you. Yeah.